Self-care is so important for us. And we hear a lot of different things about what self-care is. And self-care is what is good for you and not always necessarily what feels good. For an example, eating a whole plate of nachos might feel good, but is not necessarily good for you. On the other hand, exercising might not always feel good in that moment, but in the long run, it's good for you. And so it may feel like work sometimes or you don't feel like doing it, but think of it as an investment for a better quality of life. And those returns do not always come right away, but it is building up the quality of life in that account for a later date. So what we start with when we talk about self-care is really those foundations. And there's seven foundations for self-care that we can begin to focus on. The first one is sleep. Sleep is so important for us because it affects our brain and our body. When we don't get enough sleep, we start to see that we're tired. We might be a little bit foggy in our mind. Our body feels sluggish. We see all of these different things. When we're getting enough sleep, we're feeling more energized and we're feeling better. Another foundation of self-care is water. The majority of our makeup of our bodies biologically is water. This is why water is so important. And we notice when we are dehydrated that we start to feel those same things of being sluggish, we're more tired. So when we're keeping up a healthy water intake, we're finding that we're more energized and we're feeling better. Another foundation of self-care is healthy eating. And healthy eating isn't something that we decide, okay, starting tomorrow, I'm on this strict diet. That's not always realistic for us, and it doesn't always set us up for success. When we look at gradual change, maybe that's switching out once a week french fries for vegetables, then we start to build on that week by week, and we start to see those changes in ourselves. The next foundation of self-care is exercise, and exercise might look different from person to person. That might look like going to the gym. For the next person, it might mean going for a walk, up and down the stairs, or maybe sitting in a chair and finding some gentle stretching. And exercise is important because it moves circulation across our body, and it's good for our heart health. The next foundation of self-care is quiet time. And quiet time can look like meditation, reading, sitting in silence, drawing, coloring, all of these different things. And it might not, again, be easy or as realistic for us to say, I'm going to sit down and meditate for 20 minutes. Maybe start by once a week, setting a timer for two minutes and finding that quiet time for those two minutes. And the more that you do it, the more that you practice it, the easier it becomes. The next foundation of self-care is social slash emotional support. This is our connection to others. Who is your support person, your go-to person? This is really important during these times of COVID because there's a lot of lot of uncertainty and a lot of isolation from others. So this might look like a text or a phone call to someone that we care about. This might be meeting with a counselor over the phone or over Zoom. What are those ways that we can still get that support while doing it in a safe and social distancing way? And the last foundation of self-care is pleasure. So finding that moderation versus that indulgence piece. So pleasure might mean watching Netflix. If I overindulge by watching Netflix all the time, then I'm not leaving myself room for other things in my life. Whereas if we're finding that moderation of, okay, I can watch a show of Netflix And I can also make supper or I can do one of my exercises or integrate some other thing. That's what that one really means is looking for that piece of finding balance. And so looking at those foundations of self-care, maybe try focusing on one. Pick one for the week. See how that goes. Explore that. And then maybe try a different one the next week and see what that looks like. And it's really exploring and finding what works best for us when we're talking about self-care and finding that balance.